All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to Mafia 2. Now, I know it's been about five months since I played this game, and I've played the entire in the entirety of the Mafia Remake, the definitive edition of the first Mafia game, and I absolutely loved it, and I really wanted to come back to this game. I did do two parts, so if you missed that, there'll be a link down in the description uh, to take you to the playlist where you can see the two videos I've done before and the ones that I'll be doing going forward. So I want to make this into a full series. Let's get this up over 100 likes. Thank you for all the support support on Mafia Definitive Edition. It was absolutely incredible. Um, you guys really seemed to like that, and everyone was asking uh, to continue on with Mafia 2, so that's what I'm here to do. Let's do this thing. Vito Scaletta, uh, the man we saw at the end of Mafia Definitive Edition, which was um, not the way I wanted to see Vito. I'm kind of... I, I don't know what to think anymore. Like, am I supposed... Am I supposed... Am I supposed to just forgive him? Huh? I can't! Tommy Angelo's pinstripe suit. Nah. You're kidding me. Tommy Angelo! Why do you have a suit, Beetle? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is fucking badass, dude. Okay. I'm pissed. Alright, let's head to Freddy's. Um, I went and watched the end of my last video just to remember, catch up on, like, uh, what we had just done. So, I'd recommend doing the same if I was you. Um, just so, you know, you're not completely lost. Because otherwise, it's probably easy enough to forget. Fuck oh, you, that's the lady. Get the hell back here! If you can't drive, you should stay home where you belong! Hey, isn't that Joe's girl over there? invisible? Well, one of them anyway. Yeah, it is. The hell's that about, son? Huh? my car. I'm oh, gonna smack up to yours. You. Look at my fucking car. Hey, you you drove into her, pal. Hey, you're gonna pay me for that. Leave me alone. Hey, pal, knock it off. Knock it off. And who pal. the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What is she, your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it. You will. One more word, and you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the fuck out of here. I... That was the word. Oh, Jesus! Okay, I didn't actually think he was gonna... Fucking hell! I thought he was... I thought he was submitting. Holy shit. Come on then, pal. Nice. Come on, bro. Really? Come on, come on, let's go. Rah. Oosh, oosh. And an uppercut. Finish him off. Come on, give me another one, pal. Let's go. Come on. Nice. Let's go. The combat's hey, different Samson, to the first map yet. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I, I really got to get going. Mmm, you'll like it, I promise. I got to get going now. I'll see you around. Oh, damn! She just gave us a little grind there. A lesson in manners, a silver trophy. Let's go. Show that you know how to treat a lady. Ah. This guy's just knocked out on the floor. First, she grinds on me, then I got 50 bucks. And then, on top of that, I get a silver trophy. Doesn't get much better than that, boys. Let's take his car, too, while we're at it. <laughs> get out of the way, son. Come on, really. I ain't waiting around, pal. Simple eyes, all right? Let's go! Yeah, it's weird playing this game now after playing Mafia Definitive Edition, because Mafia Definitive Edition is like the first game, but it's also completely remade, whereas this is just a remaster. So it's strange, you know? All right, we made it to Joe's, though. I ain't even meaning to beep. I need to remember the controls, because they are slightly different, for sure. I don't want to be, want to be happy. Where you at, buddy? 
We made hey, it. Fellas. Hey, fellas. Hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. Hey, He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having, and hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salute. Salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... I'm wondering if you are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure, uh... What next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just cause someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president this better not be Tommy out. Angelo. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. But you're, uh, you're talking about the crowds, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one, and there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. Accepted. <laughs> After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand apiece. That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys there later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's Henry's what you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, Don't. I, I, uh... Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. Oh, shit. So, Henry, what kind of job we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well... Somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry's shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. Thank you. All right, let's get it done. Let's get it done. Pick up the hardware from Harry and Kingston. What you doing, pal? Huh? What's everybody doing in here? Any comics or anything that we can uh, get? No? No? All right, let's go. I'll see you around. See you around, pal. You trying to take my car or what? Did we really just leave the door open like that? Okay, then. Get out the way, boy! By the way, guys, can we just get some respect for the cigarette card from the first game? Tommy Angelo, son. The goat. Tommy Angelo, man. The, the package that they sent me out was incredible. Even this keyboard that I'm using is Mafia. Like, look at this. We got Paulie Lombardo. They have a whole collection of them here. I think there's, what, uh, 22 cards, so... Pretty lit. Salieri's, you know how it goes. But yeah, just an awesome package that they sent me for the first Mafia Definitive Edition game, and 
I love that game with all my heart. Hopefully, Mafia 2 is um, is in the same ballpark. Hopefully, I'll end up loving it as much as I did it. end up loving 1 or even more, maybe. Because 2 seems to be, like, universally the most loved one, I feel like. But, yeah, I really loved 1 as well. Let's go! Oh, shit! My bad, bro. <laughs> Completely my bad. I apologize. But I'm also not sorry at all. Oh, is that cops? Everybody stay calm. They didn't see it. They didn't see it. We're good. How long's this goddamn drive, huh? Pretty lengthy young drive across town. That's one thing I find about this game as well, like 100% is the that the the world is a lot bigger, like a lot more open than Mafia Definitive Edition. I keep doing that. Instead of getting out of the car, I'm pressing. That's gotta be the place, Army Navy. Makes sense, eh? Vito Skelet is here. Yeah, who is it? Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. All right, come in. It's me, your boy. Hello. So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah. You got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG42, made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. 25 pounds. 7.92 caliber. 1,200 rounds per minute. Fastest in the world. 250 round belt. Three quarters of a mile effective <laughs> range and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting. But unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, sayonara baby. baby. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, are you kidding me? Where, where were you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no, Africa? All right, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? That was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy. We hit Utah Beach. And yeah, that wasn't no picnic, neither, but... When I was crawling over the fence on the way back, I <laughs> poked my eye out. He's still just talking to us. Tree branch. Oh, well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, guy, I really gotta get going. All right. Hey, by the way, I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find Give me good prices, eh? You'll, be, you'll give you me go. good stuff. You'll give me I the good you stuff, Harry. Here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. Yes, yeah, sir. The gun's in the crate. And there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. Take the van? Oh, yeah. See you around, Vito. See you around, Harry. We got a van and an MG42. Doesn't get much better than that, stun. Can we go a little faster, maybe? No? Absolutely not. Great. Doesn't look like much of a van, to be honest, but... I guess this is what cla was classed as a van back in the day. Drive the van safely. Meet Henry and Joe. Okay. As safely as I can be. Let's go. Let's freaking go, baby! The coppers are there, but I don't give a fuck about the coppers. All right. Ain't gonna do shit while I'm around. Oh, they're following me. Uh-oh, Biscadio. The cops are following me. There's another copper right there. They still following me? Nah, we're good. We're safe. You don't fuck with Vito. That's a fact. Tommy Angelo learned the hard way, huh? Hey! Whoa, buddy. It says to drive it safely, huh? That's the handbrake. Just wanted to try it out in the snow here, see if it makes a little bit of a difference. All right. We're laughing now. Let's go get this shit to Joe and uh, 
See where we go from there. I'm gonna take this motherfucker out, I assume. With an MG42 in broad daylight at his work or what? Like, how's that gonna work? Just don't care about being discreet, I guess. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Yeah, why? 10 4. I wasn't speeding. Come on, bro. I wasn't even going that fast. Get out of here. No, 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 no. Not what you want. That means the cops are going to get a chance to catch up with us here. I ain't paying no fine. And I ain't getting taken to jail, all right? Symbolize. I can't get pulled over with this MG42 in the back either, can I? Oh, no, dude. This is so, so bad. Wait, I think we might have lost him. Hang on. Did we? Did we? Did we? Yes, sir. We lost him just in time, I think. Let's go. Apartment 233, Misery Lane. Misery Lane. That sounds like a great place to be, guys, doesn't it? <laughs> this guy's a legend. Where are you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Uh, will you buy your ticket? Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a... Uh, a man of honor. Uh, things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up. So, he sent me to America and got me a job working for Pimenti. Fucking Mussolini, man. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. <clears throat> Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on. They got All guns. right, showtime. They got guns up there in that window. No. Fuck that guy. I tried, I tried, I tried. He's got inside, though. We got him God all. damn, this gun's Stop insane. Stop shooting that fucking thing. I'm going deaf over here. You gotta chase him. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go! Nice, Joe! God damn, son! Back me up, Vito! Yo, I don't have a gun now. Well. Alright, Vito. Vito. Move! Yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I literally don't have a gun now though. Oh, there we go. Okay. I keep I forget the controls, man, because it's a different game completely, but come on, bitch. Where's the other guy? Peek it. Kill people a lot quicker in this game for sure, 100%. Come on, bitch. Peek it. Let's go! You're good, you're good, you're good. Never mind, I thought, I thought we had to kill you, pal. I'm sorry. Back me up, Vito. I'm trying my best here. The Wait, where the hell did he go? <laughs> Come on, reload, Jesus. Nice. The Enforcer. Anything in here? Stay on the ground, old man. Stay on the ground. You're gonna be alright, okay? You're gonna be alright. Can I take that gun? Let's pick up the shotgun, son. Whoa, 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 lag. I'm going in. I thought I was shooting Joey for a second. We're good. Okay, let's go. Come on, pussies. Where you at, huh? Stay sharp, I'm staying sharp, pal. Don't you worry about that. Oh, 
Nice. Is he dead? I think we got him. I think we got him, son! Reload the shotgun and keep it going. Nice, double kill. Let's go. Alright, go up the elevator and find this fat fuck. As you're calling him, huh? Come on. Don't put fingers through. Don't tell me what to do. I'm putting my fingers through. I Simple as me. Simple as. I'm good. Thanks, bro. Not the time, I say. Or maybe it is the, the time, depending on what kind of person you are, I guess. Oh, fuck me, man. Holy smoke show. Nice. Nice. Ooh, these guys are fucking crazy, bro. Last guy, last guy. Wait for him to pop and... Nice, let's go. What's up, bitch? Thought you'd get me there. I want the Tommy gun. Give me the Tommy gun, son. Ooh, I can have the Tommy gun with the shotgun in this game. Nice. Can't do that in Mafia, in Mafia Definitive Edition. Only Mafia 2, eh? Vito can carry more. Absolute pussies. I'm gonna you ain't doing shit! You ain't doing shit! Who else wants it? Who else? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill me! <laughs> Please! I got a wife! You should have thought about your wife before. I'm doing your wife! Don't kill me! Oh, Don Clemente sends his regards. Oh, fuck! Wait, what? Oh, fuck you! Oh, sorry, you. <clears throat> ah! Uh oh. Henry, you okay? <clears throat> Where'd he hit? Horse on that fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg! Oh, yeah, it's bleeding all Son over the place. Son of a... Get me Just the leg, Greco. okay. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor, okay, okay, you idiot. Gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the oh, car. Come oh, on, You're heavier than you look. He's gonna be alright. I thought he shot him in the fucking chest or something. Fat fuck. He almost shot my balls off. Take it easy. He missed him by a mile. Ooh. Ooh! That's what I like to see, Chapter 5, the Buzzsaw, so they don't show up on the minimap like the other one does. Playmate number 12. God damn. I gotta look out for them more, holy bro. That's what I like to see. Move out the fucking way, pal. Come yeah. on, Vito, he's bleeding all over the place. I'm Move going, going. What do you want me to do? You want me to go faster? Is there anyone here? Anyone hey, else? Hey, careful. This fucking hurts. Yeah, well, you can walk if you don't quit your moaning. No, please. Hey, you're right. I don't, I don't want to get out. Get out. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Oh, we uh, gotta get out of here, boys. This whole fucking place is coming apart. Let's go. Come on, boys. Oh, shit. God damn. This gun does damage. Big damage. Come on, boys. Let's go, for God's sake. Gotta hurry. Fire spread. Guys, please hurry up. God damn it, I know it. <coughs> oh, damn. It's the world of fucking jinx. What do you mean, you lucky bastard? Come on! We're out, we're out, we're out, we're out. Get in the car. Get in the goddamn car and let's go. All right. Oh, God. It's gonna be all right, Henry. You're gonna be all right, all right? Uh oh, fuck. You're kidding me. Perfect timing, man. We got the coppers on us now, too. Goodness me, it couldn't be going worse right now. If I don't make it. Hey, hey, don't go say that, pal. It's just a scratch. 
Doc will give you a few stitches, and then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh, you shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. I've seen that in a movie. Didn't you just get shot yeah. by, like, the cops or something? What happened to the guy in the movie? He All right, in the light, light, brother? No. Nah. Shouldn't be too bad. Or am I missing something? I guess you can sh get shot in certain parts of the leg where you bleed out. Bomb suspect. We're taking him down. You ain't seen shit, pal. Ten You're under four. the bridge. You're under the bridge. You ain't seen shit. This vehicle is wanted by the police. I mean, it makes sense, but right now I can't do anything about that. We don't have time to like swap out and get a new vehicle or anything. You know, come on. Can't this thing go any faster? Going as fast as I can, damn it. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? Just get me to El Greco, damn it. Jesus, you drive like my fucking grandmother. Hey! I'm doing the best that I can here, man. Driving like your so fucking fellas, grandmother. Is your grandmother is a guy? pro racer? Guy? This guy been taking honey to El Greco? He's a doctor. Throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. Must be your diet. No, no, no. Don't. Don't let the cops see us. The way they saw us. Bullshit. Okay, they didn't. We're good. Thought they saw us for a second. Hey, I thought you met. Stay with me now. Yeah. Just hang in there, pal. No, this cop's right here. Oh, El in a minute. Oh. I can smell the souvlaki from here. Fuck. Wait. Yeah. Did they not see us or what? I'm confused. They're after us, I think, but they didn't even start chasing us or anything. Easy getaway. Easy freaking getaway. Vito, step on it. Henry's sweating like a whore in church back here. You know what make me drive faster? You start a seat. <laughs> We're there. We're there. Don't, don't worry, pal. We made it. All right? Vito there. That house. Park right in front. All right. There we go. We made it. Should be okay. <sighs> You El Greco the doctor? No, I'm the fucking painter. A friend wow. needs help, or he's gonna bleed to death. Thanks, Doc. Good God, hand him. you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait, I got money for you. For the job, take it. You know this could have waited, but thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. Hope you'll be okay. Yeah, me too. I'll stay here with him. <sighs> Meet me in my place. <sighs> All right. He'll be fine. It's just a scratch. You have the cash to repay your father's debt? Visit your sister. Hell yeah. 2,000 bucks? Let's go uh, pay to death. Wait, I shouldn't be in this car, actually. Don't worry, this car ain't mine, guys. This car ain't mine, trust me. All right, let's go find a different car. Let's steal a, let's steal a car. <laughs> hey, you, give me your car, bitch. Get the fuck out. Get out. Get out. Hey, get hey, out. You, get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Oh, Jesus. That's an old man. Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I am so sorry, pal. You know, I'm really... I left him up here in the middle of the cold as well. Poor old man. But, you know, I really need a car to see my sister right now. It's important, okay? <laughs> it's important. I, I should have just came down here and got one of these parked cars. I could have left ever, the old man alone then. Come on, bro. You're kidding me, man. Is that really the way your your car beeps? See, mine is much more manly. What a bitch, bitch beep is what I call that. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, we made it back to the sister's house. Who's here? Anybody here? Is this, how do we get in? Not through here. Here we go. I remember now. Been a hot minute since I've been back to this place, actually. To see my sister and my mother. I remember if it's on the top floor. I really like don't remember which house it is. <laughs> okay, I don't think it is top floor. It's 
This one here? No. This one. Skeleta! It says the goddamn name on it, for goodness Vito, sake. Vito, hey, how you doing? Shh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? Don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss from I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. Aw. That's cute. Now go home. Back to Joe's place, I guess. That's a cute little scene. Yeah, there's a lot of just straight traveling in this game, going from place to place, you know? Oh, that's that girl. Hey, it's you. Lady. Hello? You gonna talk to me? I can't talk to her? It's the, the lady we saved, right? Unless it's just a very similar character model, I don't know. Going to sleep takes you to the next chapter. Alright, bet. I'm ready for the next chapter, son. Let's have a little jump up. And, uh, how do we get inside again? I can look it. Through here? I completely forget, man. Or is it around the side? Yeah, I think it might be around the back. If I remember correctly. Hello, it's me. Vito Skeleta. I'm ready for the next chapter. We're definitely on the next floor, though. I remember in this house, we're on the next floor. We might be on uh, this one here, I think. I made it back. Yo, what's up? That bra's... Still there, man? Any more Playboy magazines here at the start of the new chapter or anything? No. I'm ready for the next one, chapter six. I don't know how many chapters there is in this game. Time well spent. Little Italy, February 26th, 1945. Okay, we're looking kind of nice. You following me, pal? Uh-oh. Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the feds knew and about I any of my other activities. to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. An act the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me out of this one. It was a lost understand. cause from day one. Three months later, they handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to 10 years in a federal penitentiary. 10 years? You're kidding me. God, the frames are awful. Jesus Christ, man. How are the frames this bad? It's going, it's like 10 FPS right now, man. Welcome to hell, Like, I can barely watch it. Guys, please, optimize your game. I feel the Definitive Edition was so much better than this. The Federal Pen. Thieves, murderers, child molesters, they are all here. The worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else. I don't understand where things are gonna go from here. Like, we gonna get... Is there gonna be a prison break? Or... 
somehow someone's gonna get, a, get us off. I guess. Or else the rest of the game is just in prison. <laughs> that would be interesting. Oh wait, we're in first person right now. I was wondering what that was going on. Let's go, assholes! You want to make problems, you son of a bitch? Uh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? I no can't. speaking to English? Here, let me teach you. What do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? Now, get your ass up and get oh, back please. in line. No. no. Hey, smartass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. The hell? Hey! Move it! God damn, what the hell? Stop right there. Turn to your right. Your other right. <laughs> Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. All right, then. Jeez. You freak? You goddamn freak? Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Are we really going to be completely bald? No. Might as well be. It looks awful. <laughs> it okay, looks awful. Let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you fucking told. What if I just don't obey them? You aren't work unlocked. Check the main menu. Frick boy, if you ain't gonna do what you're told, we're gonna stick you in the hole. Pause. Follow me. My name is Oliver Queen. Reminds me of that jail. From Arrow. I don't know if any of you guys seen that show, but. Reminds me of that for some reason, eh? What's up, pal? How you doing? I can smell you, new fish. Welcome home. And there's just a massive rat there. Like, you're kidding me. Lights out and be quiet, assholes. Where'd the rat go? Use the bed in your cell. To sleep we go, I guess. This was gonna be my new home for the next 10 years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. Yeah. Three days later, something gonna happen? After three action packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. Hmm. Let's find him then. We need all the help we can get, for sure. Leo Galante. Where you at, brother? Yeah, we're just in jail now. It's crazy. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Hey, buddy. Beat it. Excuse me, you know where Leo Galante is? Get the fuck away from me. Okay. 
I'm looking for Leo Galante. Get out of my face. Why is everyone so mean, man? Excuse me, you know where Leo Galante is? Fuck off. Can't you see I'm busy, motherfucker? I mean, not really. Uh, hey, um, I'm looking for uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? Yo, why don't you shut the fuck up and get stepping? All right. Fair, fair, fair. Excuse me, you know where Leo Galante is? Sorry, don't know the guy. Hey, you're the first nice one, at least. Thanks, man. Uh, hey, um, I'm looking for uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? Buzz off, asshole. Uh, hey, um, I'm looking for uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? Yeah, yeah. Old guy. Plays chess all day. Thank you. All right. That works. You think you could teach me some of that? It's a doggy. It's a doggy. A Rottweiler, it looks like. I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in a jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hellhole because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. You <laughs> shit. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I could pay you back! Oh, let's go, bitch! Come on, son! What's up, pussy? This looks interesting. Wanna make a small bet? Yeah, make a bet on me, pal. That's all day. What's up? What's up? What's up? Come on. Come on. Overgrown retard. <laughs> Teach O'Neill not to mess with you. That's exactly what I'm doing. This is gonna be easier than the time I shoved. The Ooh, okay. Easier than the time you what? Shoved what? Hello? Okay. You eat faggots for breakfast? <laughs> Happy Gilmore reference! <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Step back! Oh! Get out of here! Both of you should go into the hole! Come on, man. I was just getting started. We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Dick D. Close it up. Alright. That's into the hole. Makes sense, you know. So O'Neill almost oh, took my head off, but I made a stand. And let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. So did I lose that fight? I don't, I don't know. I felt like I still had a lot of health left. It's bullshit if I lost, I tell you this. A few days later, we out of the hole now? Really gonna be down How there for two days? How long are you on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Skeletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. All right, son. Pa. Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's going to be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're going to help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows? Maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. All right. Could be a plan. That offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. This guy's probably a badass. In the prison okay. space. Today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Vito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. And use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas, let's get going. All right. a boy, Pepe. Ah, kid's good. Whoa, would you look at that? Hey, we supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? 
And most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Peppy here, <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. All right. Nice, kid, nice. Give me two more of those. All right, one more of you. Oh, oh, bitch, what's up? Nice. There you go. Nice. A fast learner, kid. Thank All you. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. That's it? That's it? That took like two minutes, man. So Come on. how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Uh, well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle... <laughs> you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Mm. Okay. Get to know the other guys or leave the gym? Eh, let's talk to him. Hell of a job with that asshole O'Neal. Nice. Next time, do us all a favor and snap the prick's neck, would you? Jesus. Okay. Don't like O'Neal. Nice work in the ring, buddy. A little more of that and you'll be ready for a real fight. Oh, yeah. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, Vito? Come Name's on, Sal. Hey, tour. nice work in the ring. At least people are being nicer now. Hey, how you doing? Name's Vito. Yeah, I know. Name's Al. Yeah, Good to meet you. Good to meet you, too. Winston's offering two to one against Pepe. Pepe wasn't a friend of mine, I take that bet. O'Neill's a fucking animal. Hmm. Come on. Hey, how you doing? Name's Vito. Sam, how you doing? How's old man know, Galante yeah. know so much about yeah, boxing? That's it. Never know by looking at him now, but he was a prize fighter back in the day. Damn good one, too. No shit. Yeah, Keep heard he up. used to fight in bare knuckle matches before he went pro. I'm just glad he organizes these fights. Not that there's anything... Huh. Okay. What you wear, you walk guy law? Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you, too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. It's the blatant racism. <laughs> you gotta now love listen, it. <laughs> these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. All right. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> let's go. Come on. Let's take him out, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, bitch. You want to go? Let's go. Come on, pussy. What's up? That's a counter punch, bitch. You like those counters? I just learned that technique from my boy. Nice! Ooh. What's up, pussy? Alright, I'm getting a little better at the combat now for sure. Master will not be happy. Boom! Oh. Ah, yeah, there's no happen if you use Tiger Style. Yeah, but he didn't use Tiger Style, so that's it. That's it. Your boy's gone. Done. Dusted. Knock the fuck out, son. Yep. That rat's still in my room. Come on, bro. Get out of my room, seriously. Let's Get a go, size that thing. You're late for work. I ain't going to work. I'm going back to bed. I'll see you later.
All right, for real though, I'm actually going to end this part here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a big like and we'll make it into a full series and I'll bring it back for good and we'll do like one, two, uh, we'll do one episode a day or every second day or something like that. Uh, I really appreciate the support, guys. It does mean the world to me um, on all the channel recently. Like just September, August have been incredible for this channel. Um, so yeah, thank you and I'll see you next time. It's been my pleasure to serve you. Happy October.